Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is the third problem in the code forces round 851 and the problem is matching numbers. Let's see what the problem states. So the problem is a very simple problem. Uh, so you have a number n. They are telling that you have to generate n 2n numbers that is from 1 to 2n and you have to take two numbers and pair it. So for example, let me tell you with an example that is if n equal to 3, you have to generate like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this 2 into n, right? 6, 6 numbers and you have to pair these numbers. So it can be like 1, 3, 2, 4 and 5, 6. Each pair, the number should come only once. After pairing these numbers, sum these numbers, 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 5, 6, 5 plus 6 is what? 11. And then if you sort these numbers, the difference between both of them should be 1, exactly 1. In this case, the difference is not 1. So, uh, for example, let's say uh, the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you pair these numbers, that is 1 and 6, 3 and 5, and 2 and 4. 1 plus 6 is how much? 7. 3 plus 5 is how much? 8. 2 plus 4 is how much? 6. Now, if you sort these numbers, we don't have to sort it. The com uh, Their test judge will sort it. 6, 7, 8. So the difference between them is what? 1. And the difference between consecutive numbers is 1. So this is a valid find. Now they are asking that after generating numbers from 1 to 2n, is it possible to pair these numbers and after getting it, if you sort it, the numbers should have a difference of exactly 1. So if it is not possible to find such a sequence, we need to print no. Else you have to print yes and all the possibilities. So uh, before uh, tell before jumping into the solution, let me tell that this is uh, the way I solved it and there are multiple uh, solutions around it. So in order to know the exact proof, I strictly ask you to go through the blog entry that is 112854 to get the understanding of how the math works behind it. So let's first try to understand with observation on how do we solve these numbers. So let's say, for example, we are having a number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, if we want to get the optimal sum, we take this, right? 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is how much? 7. 2 plus 5 is how much? I'm just randomly doing it. And 1 plus 6 is how much? This is also 7. Now, if we sort it, the difference is 0. This is strictly not allowed. The difference should be 1. So what I observed is, Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3 plus 4 is 7, okay. Now, I should not take the exact value. I can, I need to give at least one gap between them. The difference should be 1, right? So I went to the next number. Instead of going for 2, I'll go to 1. So 5 plus 1 is how much? 6, okay. Now, what is the remaining? 6 plus 2, 8. So 6 is there, 7 is there, 8 is there. If you sort it, 6, 7, 8 and the difference is 1. So let's actually, let's stretch it further to a number like uh, even bigger number. So one more thing which I noticed is in the problem statement, if you see, only uh, odd numbers are having a value of yes and even numbers 2 and 4 is having no. So I assumed that if it's an even number, uh, the answer will be no. So I worked only for odd number now. So let's say, uh, for example, the, uh, they are giving n as 5. n as 5 means you have to generate till 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now what did I do? I'll take the middle numbers. That is 5 plus 6 is 11. 7, I'm not taking 4. I'll take 3. That is 10. Now, uh, I'll not take 2. I'll take 8 to 1. That is 9. So I got 3 numbers. Now I can take 9 plus 2, it is 10, 11. It is repeating, so I should not take. Only possibility is I can take 9 plus 4, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 13 I got. Then what is the remaining? It is 10 plus 2, 11, 12. So actually we got the sorted sequence. So the difference between everything is 1. So let's try even more to find a more generalized solution for odd number. If I tried for an even number, uh, I could not get a solution. So I assumed that the answer is no. So if you want, you can work out or see the blog entry. And let's say it is n equal to 7. This will be even more clear. Now let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन एज यूजल आई एम टेकिंग द मिडल नंबर इट इज़ फिफ्टीन नाइन फाइव सो सिक्स आई एम स्कीपिंग बिकॉज आई नीड ओनली वन राइट सो नाइन प्लस फाइव इज हाउ मच इट इज फोर्टीन देन टेन यू गो हियर थर्टीन देन इलेवन शुड गो टू वन ट्वेल्व इलेवन इट इज ट्वेल्व now 2 is remaining 4 is remaining 6 is remaining and 12 is remaining 13 is remaining 14 is remaining if i do 12 plus 2 it will be 14 14 is already there 12 plus 4 it is 16 okay 16 we can write now i do 13 plus uh, 2 14 15 15 is repeating here now 13 plus 4 i already did right 12 plus 4 only i got as 16 so i am not going to take it so 13 plus 6 is there it is 18 now 14 plus 2 15 16 again 16 is repeating so this is totally wrong until here i am able to make it so instead of going from here let's assume that we'll go from here and take the largest number so even if you take 14 plus 1 it is 15 2 plus 13 it is 15 so let's assume that instead of starting from the left we'll take 2 here and the last one here that is 2 plus 14 is how much 16 then what is this 4 plus 13 is how much 17 you got the logic we are taking the last number and this number and then we are not taking 13 plus 3 3 is already used 13 plus 4 because we need only one difference so 17 we got and 12 plus 6 12 plus 6 is how much 18 so how much we got if we sort it 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 the difference will be at max 1 so uh, in the problem if you see right they have given uh, like formally let a be the pairs you matched and should be a permutation of one let the sorted list be s1 s2 and we have s of i plus 1 so we achieved it now uh, i'll show you how did i code before going that uh, let me show you the solution so this is the solution number if you have any doubt please refer to this solution i'll attach it in the description as well now uh let's see what the how did i code uh let's take the same example that is 1 2 3 4 5 i'll take the last as 6 and whenever n is an even number i assume that it's no since i could not work out uh and form a generalized solution i assumed it's no and uh start is last by 2 what is start here Last by two is six by two is three, and end is what? End is start. That is three. Start plus plus four. Start becomes four. So these are the first two numbers. I am just keeping end as zero because it should not go on the left side. I am iterating through this. So start is how much? Four and end is three. Now start I am incrementing here and end I am decrementing by two because five plus two is seven. I which I already have four plus three is seven, right? I am not doing it. So five plus one. That is three and four is process five plus one, five plus one is six. Now what is remaining? I am starting from n equal to two. I am starting from here again, and this will be last. Now two plus six is how much? Two plus six is eight. So six, seven, eight. Now let's suppose there are more numbers. What I'll do is start will be decremented. Start I am here right. So if there are many numbers, start will come one by one here, but here I am. doubling it so that is uh, jumping it two times that is instead of 2 instead of 3 i am jumping it to 4 so last one 2 then 4 and the second last one and 6 and the third last one similarly like that so i just need a difference of one that's what i am try to observe it and done it so that's all the solution guys and uh, i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you uh, thank you so much